this season. while we were away yesterday, the Padres did make another move. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about outfield this year. I mean, we don't need them. Who needs three outfielders? Uh, well, we got another reliever in Wandy Peralta, 32 year old. He's been very good for the Yankees. Can't mm-hmm. hate. Like, actually, been very good. He's 32 years old, pl- pitching uh, 54 innings last year, 63 appearances, four and two record, two eight three ERA. Walks a lot of dudes, but doesn't give up a ton of runs. He signed a four year, 16.5 million dollar contract, but he can opt out after every year. So we'll see how that goes. But you got a stacked bullpen, boys. Mm-hmm. That's a lot mm-hmm. of arms. Robert Good. Suarez, pre- presumptive closer. Names that you're familiar with already. Steven Wilson, who's been here. Tom Cosgrove, who was a rookie last year, was Wilson. very good. Oh. Uh, then the new guys from uh, the Yankees, Randy Vasquez, Jay-, Jay Honey, even though it's Johnny Brito. The guys they've signed, Yuki Matsui, Wu Suck Go, Aniel De Los Santos, who they traded for, and now Wandy Peralta. Wu Suck so Go. W O O S U K G O. Wu Suck Go. Go. They ought to they ought to do something with that. I need a yeah. loose suck on the back. Jersey. His name is just going to say go. That's dope. Really? Yeah. Love really? it. Yeah. Give me one of those. Suck? No, no this is go. Woo suck. Very good. Is cool. very, I believe. I believe. Very good friends with uh, with uh, Hassan Kim. Both Korean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, what did you have here today? With uh, speaking of the Yankees and how the Padres traded Soto and oh. they got you know these arms in return. What, what's yeah. this Aaron Boone? So thing? Michael King, we never talked about it. Michael King did an interview with the New York Post last year. He said, "I truly believe that the Padres won the trade for Juan Soto, not because I'm a part of it, but they we they got a lot for Juan Soto." And so I have this clip from John Boy podcast, Aaron Boone, Yankees manager, saying, "Kind of similar, like maybe they did that. Maybe the Padres did win the trade." And um, you know, it was it was definitely um, in the hopper and looked like it was potentially going to happen. But it was actually all the days at, at the winter meetings where, you know, we we're trying different iterations, you know, in a lot of ways, probably trying to keep Michael King out of the deal. So that's why it, it probably took a few days. And then at the end, you know, obviously we gave up a, a really good package. I think the Padres did really well in the deal. But at the end of the day, you're like, man, this is Juan Soto. We have a chance to get so, um, so excited to have him. Mm. Yeah, mm. wait, wait till you see him every day. Yeah. Right. Someone said, uh, someone y'all are right. Someone said it's kind of good. Like, in order to get Juan Soto, you have to lose the trade. And I'm like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Just the name, you have to like give up a lot I to would, get him. See, but I would argue, I would argue the the Padres didn't lose the trade. I, me personally, this is my opinion. They didn't lose the trade when they well, got a year later. The Nationals. A year later, now we know. We don't know yet what we got from the Yankees. 